Okay. Hmm. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> it's been a little while since I've done uh, uh, the previous um, videos, but I'm back now. Um, been a been a little been a few, been playing with this thing for a little while now. Um, it's good, but uh, there's some some tricks. So I'm gonna show you how I load it and how I get my the clay uh, eat to the right consistency. <clears throat> um, a few things. Um, so you get two of these with the the more two pro. I think with the the little one too, you get two of these. Um, Five hundred milliliters. For the size of this, uh, I, I've been to print the whole thing. To print most of the height, you kind of need two of these. Um, you can check out actually if you check out my Instagram, at Griffin Prototyping. Um, you can see some of the stuff I've been doing. Uh, but we'll just we'll just stick to a single uh, a single tube today. So we did our assembly. Everything's good. Um, oh, uh, I've actually been printing. So this thing in here has some clay in it, um, which won't be a problem. Uh, just that if you haven't printed on it before, you have to you can extrude it out to get it uh, to fill it up before you start with the the, uh, the extruder up here. But I guess that's it. Th this is how it works, right? So we have this bottle. Um, we don't. And there's a our, our our plunger, right? So the bottle goes in there, screws in there. Don't be. Uh, we'll go over that. And then this clamps over it. And then it this plunger pushes up through. I guess the Bowden tube is Bowden tube. I don't know if it works for liquid like it does with uh, the regular. Um, plastic 3D. All right, so a couple things I've done. I printed, as you put it in there, and you'll see me doing it, you gotta bang it in there. So I, I don't know, I've got access to other 3D printers, so I made this little uh, contoured thing. You could, I don't see why you couldn't bash it like that. I didn't like hitting it, and I definitely didn't like hitting it with the fixture on there, or the, air, the fitting, air fitting. Um, so I, I made this thing. You could do something similar. In the book, in the manual, it says uh, like a, a paper of a certain thickness, and it says it in Chinese verbatim too. So I don't really know what that means. Um, but yeah, you could just like I don't know, piece of wood, you know, half inch, one inch piece of wood with a hole in it, maybe. Just to, I just don't like bashing on this nozzle. I think it would be fine, maybe, but I don't like it. So I, I printed this thing. So when I bash it down like that. I'm not hitting the end here. It also fits with this. I made it so it fitted so you know I can have this on and bash it away as I please. Uh, another thing I made, um, they, they give you one of these. I went and picked up a second one of these. It makes, I think it makes my life um, uh, easier uh, folding and, and flipping up the, the uh, clay to get it ready. Um, it makes for me, it makes it easier. Maybe some of you guys, people, uh, especially the clay people out there, uh, the potter heads, <laughs> um, probably just do it with their hands. I don't know. I find the spatulas work. Kind of gives me a, I can get a feel for it too. Uh, and then I, I, I made this thing. It's just, I just used some hardboard. Um, I like the rounded end here just because it can kind of fit in there. Um, I don't know, it, it seems to be nice. Actually, I, saw, I just saw a guy with something similar in a YouTube video, so I copied it. Um, and it works. Uh, better than these ones, anyways. Like, I don't know, I found, I, I, it doesn't get, it, I, it's harder to get it in there clean. Um, you can see my workspace has got a little dirtier now. Um, I think it's good to try to keep a clean workspace. These, uh, 
Um, the powder from the clay as it gets dried, if you're inhaling it, that's not good for you. Not good for you. Um, a few things. I've well gone well beyond uh, the clay that they they, they provided. Um, I had to go to a local place and pick up uh, 20 kilograms. Uh, and I, I put it in this. Let's see. We can take a look. I, I just picked up some buckets as well from the hardware store. So I just threw it in there with some water. You get a mill you can see some of the other stuff that I printed come uh I've just gotten thrown back in there. Uh, nice thing is you kind of get a mix of drier stuff and wetter stuff at the bottom. So you can dial in your uh I think they call it wedging. Um all these terms I'm learning. Um But yeah, so let's I'm gonna let's uh do this. Let's see, does that Oh, that's going the wrong way. Alright. So let's uh let's fill up this bottle. You see uh, I'll it's kinda tedious, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it, or at least I won't stop. I'll just I'll do the mixing and then I'll fill up the bottle as we go. Where's the, where's the, ah, there we are. Let's grab some of this. Now, when I'm doing it, I kind of go for this, I, I like, I keep thinking of a, um, kind of a thicker gelato, just slightly thicker gelato. I know some people say ice cream, but, um, well, you know what, I guess ice cream maybe, that thickness. Um, having it thrown in here, it, it, it doesn't need much um, more moisture from what I've had. I found with the, the stuff that came with it, it was really, really dry. Um, and uh, I had to get that, uh, break that down a fair bit. Um, but yeah, a big part of it is just trying to get it a cons consistent, um, consistent consistency. Right. Anyways, so a little more wet stuff in there. All right. Um, I've been getting better at eyeballing it. Uh, it's usually better to get too much than too little. To, to start with, because, well, you could always fill up two bu the, the both bottles um, if you're gonna print soon. Uh, that's probably about right. I just pulled this out here. It's still full of uh, clay, so I'm just gonna try to, is that gonna, hey. Uh, the dryness is kind of your enemy on this one, uh, so you want to keep everything as moist as well, fairly damp, because once the, you, know, you get some hard bits that come through, you're going to get clogs in the extruder end. You notice even, I'm, uh, I have it sitting in a little cup there of water. Alright, so let's just get this going. Honestly, this one didn't need, need, need too much work. Um, like it is just about mixing it up to get make sure that you don't end up with pockets that are too wet and pockets that are too dry. So you end up with weird inconsistent printing. You want pretty homogeneous uh, clay. 
Okay, so you know what? I think I'm I think I'm done. Alright. So okay, so that's about done. Um one thing I found is that water kinda acts like a lubricant. So I have another bucket here with water and, and whatnot that I keep it in. I keep over here. So I'm just gonna kinda rinse it with water. There we go. Rinse it with water. There we are. Let's put the lid back on that. Alright, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab it. See? It's not too super sticky, but it's kind of got a nice feel to it, like you could um, like like ice cream, like gelato. Uh, see, I'm, I don't know, I'm terrible. I'm not a big fan of getting my hands dirty in certain ways. I don't know, a little OCD or whatever. No, 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 it's not OCD. But anyways, uh, picadillos. Uh, so I, 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 I like to use the spatulas. And what I do, I just take a bit and I put it there. I'll take a bit more. Uh, one thing you want to be careful about is air bubbles. So what you're going to do after you get up a nice glob up there, you're going to just start pounding. And yeah, it just kind of fell down there. You want to pound it. Pound it. Now you'll start to see it come down there. I find if it, if it is coming out there, it means you you got a decent consistency. Yeah, right? It's coming out the end there. You know what I got? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the light. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab a little bit here. Well, we got all this clay here still, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Again, it's still good. It's gonna go back in the bucket. A little dried crap getting on there. Oh well. Actually, you know what? Let's just. Get rid of that.
Okay. So next step is we got this bad boy here. And so there's threads in there. So you want to push it on. It's very important, very important that it goes on straight. Um, if it's at an angle, either way, any way, any other direction than straight, you're going to hear this skipping and grinding. Same way, same problem if this clay is too thick. You know, this is it's pretty beefy motor on there and this uh, gearbox is pretty good, but they, ha they have their limits. And if you if you tried it with straight out of the box with the regular clay, you might have noticed it's struggling, giving a grinding noise. Um, it's not the end of the world, it's not too harmful, stepper motors are okay. So what you want to do, can you see me? You can't see me. Let's drop this down a bit. So, I've got fans here for drying the clay as it goes. So you're going to push it on the plunger. And I, I push this against the wall, so I got that extra. I'm just gonna have to push it down. You'll see it coming out the other end. That's okay. There we are. All right. Now these are plastic threads, so you don't want to damage them. They're very easy to damage. So I turn it backwards a bit until I feel it's good, and then let's see. Let's start turning. keeping some pressure. It is a bit of a, let's see. Looks like it's pretty straight. Once it catches, and you got it in there, you don't need to push as much. You can let the threads do their work. All right, and you get that turned nice in there. All the, <laughs> Turds have come out. All right. I'm just going to just check that it extrudes a little bit. I turn it on low. Put it on for one to move it ahead. It's not clicking out, so it sounds like it's moving. Maybe we'll move, bump it up a little bit, just to double check. It's a pain in the ass when you get it all together. There we go. You can see it move a little bit, so that's great. All right. Next we want to get this thing on. I'm not entirely certain the function of it. I have a belief that the pressure from this could be great enough that it might strip those threads. So this is holding it in. Um, this is far and beyond the most annoying part.
Fourth line, alright. Alright, great. Awesome. Now we got the pneumatic fixture. We'll just stick that in there. Um, again, plastic threads, so be careful. Sometimes the, the clay hardens and you really got to clean things out. It can harden pretty quick. So anyways, let's get that in there. Cool. Again, don't have to tighten it down too much. It is plastic, it will break. All right, next we have our hose. Um, like I said, I had been working with this yesterday. So. Um, what I would normally do, I'd take this off first and run it quick to move it up and make sure everything's going. You should see this go in a minute. Actually, you know what? Make this 10. I'm just going to... Job this uh, here, make sure it's moving. It can kind of get a vacuum in there, so moving the hose can help free it up. Are we going to hear it click in a sec? There we go. Yep, you hear that clicking. So that clicking is the motor skipping. But we got this moving. Now it's moving much faster than we need it, but that's okay. Um, we're going to slow that down when we actually get going. All right, let's refocus on here a little bit. All right. So here we are. Um, now let's just see what happens. I, I got the menu up here and just in the manual materials folder or option. All right, we go here, uh, tool, materials, and then you can select which ones, uh, just the, the printer extruder, the putter and printer together, just the putter. So you can change that around. I'm gonna change this up to one just to try to get things moving. Now, I, had let, I kept this moist. So I'm not moving this, I'm just moving this one. It seems to be working. So I'm gonna go both and let's see what happens. Um, see, you can, it might be slowing down a hair. Can you see that? Yeah, it's going. There. Yeah, this hose is a... Maybe I should be filming from the other side. But it's moving. And... Pretty consistently. You can feel it there, it's kinda... Not super sticky. Um, so that's cool. There. Um, your print service here, I put down some saran wrap. I seem to be getting a bunch of prints out of it. So, that's loaded. This is up to here. Um, you know what, I'm just going to wipe this down a hair. Try to make sure that 